Hello, I'm Robbie Fowler and you're watching Redman TV. Hello, welcome to Redman TV. Liverpool have signed Stephen Cogger on loan. I asked you for your thoughts on Twitter via at the Redman TV. And here's some of the uh, of the the wealth of opinions that 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 has unearthed. Anyway, uh, TBK underscore you'll never walk alone at Theo. Uh, very decent. Just alone, little to lose. Used to be pretty good. Subotic is cracked anyway. Les Head at Head underscore Les. Breaking news, he's just pulled a hamstring. <laughs> it is right, it is, it is funny. Um, yeah, hilarious. Uh, no, I appreciate the humour. Honestly, it's wearing a little thin, much like the hamstrings of our players. Uh, Darren O'Brien at Daz OB23. What are they playing at? Can't even get in a struggling Southampton side. Hashtag not happy or no thappy, if you will. Uh, yeah, I get that. I think that's it. You know, we've gone from a situation where we would, uh, you know, we've like Sacco injured, Lovren injured, Skirtle injured, Colo's a million years old, and we've recalled uh, Elori from Lone, who couldn't get in the Aston Villa side, and now we've got Corker to re be recalled from his loan at Southampton to go on loan to us who has been able to get in that team. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, Brian LFC at Jagusak. Uh, Coker is a better option than Enrique. Yes. Never a truer word spoken. Also, since it's free, leaves money to potentially buy a striker. Smart business. Uh, yeah, I'd not, really, I'd not really thought of it that way, I guess. And I think it's one of those things that... I've said this. I said this on my sort of reaction to it that you don't want to be spunking a load of money up the wall for somebody who might may or may not actually be good enough to play for your team. You know, I think we've got between now and the end of the season to truly establish who is fit to be a, a Klopp Liverpool player or not. And if you know, if someone that he knows is absolutely amazing is available, and you think you've got the money to spend on it, yeah, great, go and get that. But I think in terms of yeah, you, exactly like you say there keep your powder dry as much as possible. If we've got, if we do have a small pot of money and we've talked about this on the, on the transfer weekly show that it could be like 20 million pounds to spend. If you're forced to spend five, six, seven, eight, ten, or whatever of that on a centre half in, and then in fact, the fact is in two weeks time, three weeks time, we're then, we're going to have Skirtle, we're going to have Sacco, we're going to have um, Lovren, you know, we're going to have all these players available to us. It's 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 a it's a waste of money it, it, unless that you know maybe that guy's also not proven to be good etc cetera, etc. Cetera. You get what I'm driving at. But if, if it frees up money and we are looking to actually buy some, if we are looking to buy a striker as mentioned there, and it means we're able to afford a better one than spending then the remaining ten or eight or six or whatever on someone, it's more important that we get goals in this side than anything. I think we just need good solid stable bodies at the back. I think you can teach. Decent centre halves to be very, very good centre halves, but you can't teach average strikers to be world class strikers. And so that's a, I think that is an important point. Uh, at Leon Alcan, Klopp is trying his best to be Rogers. No, no, he's not. Uh, at YY underscore Woon, it's Woon. Makes sense. Short term injury solution with lots of experience uh, in the Premier League. Yes, Sean. H at the Sean H uh, 2K11. Bang up to date with your Twitter name there, mate. Um, am I the only one not pissed with the Corker signing? Six month loan deal, and that's it. It's squad depth and one that we need. Like, again, I completely agree with that. I, I can't bring myself to be particularly emotional in any way, shape, in any way, shape, or form about this signing. I'm glad that we've sorted a problem. I actually quite liked Colker in what I've seen of him in years gone by. I know he's not been playing whatever this season for Southampton as such, but he's clearly got something, hasn't he? And, you know, he's not spunked a load of cash. And whatever. At the very least, I don't see any reason to be upset by it unless you thought that we were going to go out and buy, insert world-class centre-half's name here. And I don't know who that would be anyway, so I can't get annoyed by it. If there's someone else you would rather have assigned, let me know that in the comments below. Uh, last one I'm going to read is the cut from the Cop Magazine. Ah, the Cop Magazine. Gone but not forgotten, particularly on Twitter. Fact of the day, Stephen Corker scored as many goals for Liverpool as Mamadou Sacco and Dejan Lovren. Hashtag doubter to believer. So there you go. That's all you needed to know. And uh, yeah, again, keep your thoughts coming in the comments below. If you want to know more of my thoughts on it, go check out the reaction video. If you want to know everything about Stephen Corker in 60 seconds or less, check out Chris's video, Stephen Corker, in under a minute.
in around about a minute, a minute more or less. Um, don't hold us to it. Um, it's in the general ballpark of a minute. Fuck you if you've got a problem with that, basically. Uh, so anyway, give this... Press the end cards. <laughs> the end cards. They fuck you with the end cards. Uh, so give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to know more about Corker, check that out. If you want to discuss more Liverpool transfer news, check out the Transfer Weekly Show, 45-ish minutes or so. Uh, of us on the RedmenTV.com discussing all Liverpool's transfer needs, ins, outs and everything, apart from this one, because we recorded it yesterday. But fuck it, it's still brilliant. Uh, go and check that out. Thank you very much for watching. ta -ra. This is Nevin Subotic in a minute. The 27-year-old Serbian international centre-back who is six foot three inches tall has been linked with a loan deal by David Maddock from the Daily Mirror uh, to come to Liverpool until the end of the season.